People love it when I ask about books. I don't know if I... Uh, whether technical, like legal or fiction, nonfiction books throughout your life have had an impact on you, if there's something you could recommend or something you could speak to about something that inspired ideas, insights about this world, complicated world of ours. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, I'll give you a, a couple. Uh, so one is uh, Contingency, Irony, and Solidarity by Richard Warty. He's, a, he's passed away now, but was a uh, philosopher uh, at some of our major institutions, Princeton, uh, Harvard, uh, Stanford. Um, uh, Contingency, Irony, and Solidarity, at least that's a book that really helped me work through um, a series of thoughts. So it, it stands for the proposition that uh, that our most deeply held beliefs uh, are contingent, that there, there, there's nothing uh, beyond history or prior to socialization that's definatory of the, the, of, of the human being. That's Rorty. Um, and he says that uh, our most deeply held beliefs are received wisdom and highly contingent along a, a, a number of registers. And he does that, uh, but then goes on to say that uh, he nonetheless uh, can hold strongly held beliefs, recognizing their contingency, but still believes them to be true and accurate. And it helps you to work through uh, what could be an intellectual tension, mm-hmm. uh, uh, other words. So, so you don't delve into – one doesn't delve into relativism. Oh, yeah. Everything is okay. But he gives you a vocabulary to think about uh, 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 how to negotiate these 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 realities. Uh, I, I, do you share this tension? I mean, there there is a real tension. It seems like even like the law, the legal system is all just a construct of our human ideas, yeah. and yet it seems to be uh, almost feels fundamental. To what a uh, right. what yeah, a no, just society is. Yeah, I, I definitely share share the tension and 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 love the, the uh, uh, his his vocabulary and the way he's uh, helped me resolve the 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 tension. So right, I mean, yeah, yeah. So like you know, uh, infanticide, for example, perhaps it's uh, socially contingent. Perhaps it's received wisdom. Perhaps it's anthropological, uh, you know, we need to propagate the species. And I still think it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and Rorty uh, has, has helped me develop a category to say, to, to, to say that, no, I can't provide any, in Rorty's words, non-circular theoretical backup mm-hmm. for this proposition. At some point, it's going to run me into, into a circularity problem. But that's okay. I'm, I, I, I hold this nonetheless in full recognition of its contingency, but what it does is 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 makes you humble, mm-hmm. and and when you're humble, that's good because you know this notion that ideas are always already in progress, never fully formed. Uh, I think is 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 the sort of intellectual I strive to be, and if I have a a a sufficient degree of humility that I don't have the final answer capital a then that's going to help me to get to better answers lowercase a and 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 rorty does that. And, and he talks about uh uh in in the solidarity part of the book he has this concept of imaginative i uh, uh the imaginative ability to see other different people as we instead of they mm. and i just think it's a beautiful concept but he talks about this imaginative ability and it's this active Process. So, I mean, so that's a book that's done a lot of work uh, uh, for me uh, over the the, the years. Um, uh, Souls of Black Folk by W. B. Du Bois uh, was absolutely pivotal pivotal in my intellectual development. Uh, uh, one of the uh, premier uh, set of essays in the uh, Western literary tradition. And it's a, a deep and profound sociological, uh, philosophical, uh, and historical analysis of the uh, predicament of blacks in America from um, one of our country's greatest polymaths. Uh, it uh, 
it's just a it, it's a beautiful text and uh and i go to it uh yearly um so for somebody like me so growing up in the soviet union the struggle the civil rights movement the struggle of race and all those kinds of things uh that that is you know this universal but it's also very much a a journey of the United States. It was kind of a foreign thing that I stepped into. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you would recommend somebody like me to read? Or is there other uh, things about race that are good to connect to? Because my 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 flavor of suffering and just, I'm a Jew as well. Mm -hmm. My flavor has to do with World War II and the studies of that, you know, right. all the injustices there. Yeah. So I'm now stepping into a new set of injustices <laughs> and trying to learn the <laughs> the landscape. I would I, I would say you, uh, uh, anyone is is a, a better person for having read uh, Du Bois. It's just uh, he's just a remarkable writer uh, and thinker, and it. Uh, uh, I mean, and to the extent you're interested in, in learning another history, he does it in a way that is uh, quite sophisticated. So it's uh, uh, so um, uh, I, it, it's interesting. I was going to give you uh, three books. Uh, I, I I noted the accent with, when I met you, but I didn't know exactly where you're from. Yes. But the uh, the other book I was going to say is uh, Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I mean, I've always wanted to go to St. Pete's uh, just to, to sort of see with my own eyes what uh, yeah. the word pictures that— uh, Dostoevsky created in uh, Crime and Punishment. And, you know, I love others of his stuff, too, the Brothers Karamazov and so forth. But uh, Crime and Punishment, I first read in high school as a junior or a senior. And it is a, um, uh, a deep and profound um, meditation on uh, the the both the meaning and the measure of our lives. And uh, 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 Dostoevsky, uh, obviously, in 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 conversation with other uh, thinkers, um, uh, really gets at the uh, the the crux of a fundamental philosophical problem: what does it mean to be a human being? And uh, and uh, uh, for that, uh, crime and punishment captured me as a teenager, and that's another text that I return to uh, uh, often.